The development of the Type 19 155mm wheeled self-propelled howitzer is a significant step forward for the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force, reflecting the nation's shift toward modernizing its military with a focus on mobility, precision, and the seamless integration of digital technologies into combat systems. While traditional artillery has long played a pivotal role in conventional warfare, the rise of precision-guided munitions, highly mobile forces, and sophisticated command and control systems has necessitated an evolution in how artillery is employed on the modern battlefield. The Type 19 fits squarely into this trend, leveraging advances in wheeled vehicle technology, artillery design, and networking capabilities to enhance Japan's artillery forces in both defensive and offensive operations. A key aspect of the Type 19's design is its emphasis on mobility, which reflects a shift in the broader military doctrine of the JGSDF. Traditionally, self-propelled artillery systems relied on track chassis, which offered superior off-road performance and better protection for the crew. However, these systems were often slower and more cumbersome when it came to redeployment, especially when under the threat of counter-battery fire. The Type 19, by contrast, utilizes a wheel chassis which allows it to move more quickly and efficiently across a range of environments, from urban areas to difficult terrains. The use of an 8x8 wheeled vehicle, similar to those used by several NATO countries, is a clear indication that the JGSDF is adopting the shoot-and-scoop doctrine championed by modern artillery forces worldwide. The primary advantage of wheeled artillery, as embodied in the Type 19, is the rapid redeployment capability it offers. In modern warfare, artillery systems that can fire and then immediately relocate before enemy forces can retaliate are incredibly valuable. This is a tactic that minimizes the risk of counter-battery fire, a real concern on the battlefield, where artillery duels can quickly escalate into a battle of attrition. The Type 19's quick-fire capability, with the ability to deliver six rounds per minute, combined with the vehicle's ability to rapidly relocate after firing, ensures that the JGSDF can maintain a persistent artillery threat while mitigating the dangers associated with static artillery positions. This gives the Type 19 a distinct tactical advantage over older towed artillery systems like the F-870, which are slower to reposition and offer less flexibility in dynamic combat environments. In addition to its mobility, the Type 19 also brings significant improvements in targeting and fire control. Modern artillery relies heavily on accurate real-time data to achieve maximum effectiveness. The Type 19 is integrated with advanced targeting systems that include an inertial navigation system and a firepower combat command and control system. These systems enable the Type 19 to perform automated self-location, eliminating the need for traditional surveying equipment. The result is faster targeting and more precise fire support, crucial in modern warfare, where information is often the key to success. The ability to share real-time targeting information with other units on the battlefield ensures that the Type 19 is not only a highly capable artillery piece on its own, but also an integral component of a broader network of military assets, enhancing overall coordination and effectiveness. The incorporation of modern fire control technology makes the Type 19 particularly well-suited to rapid response operations. In the event of a sudden escalation, the JGSDF can quickly deploy the Type 19, enabling it to engage targets with speed and accuracy. This is particularly important in the context of Japan's defense strategy, which is increasingly focused on quick reacting forces capable of defending against potential regional threats, particularly from China and North Korea. Both of these countries have invested heavily in modernizing their artillery and missile capabilities, and Japan's military has responded by seeking to develop systems that can compete with and, and ideally surpass the capabilities of its regional competitors. One of the key advantages of the Type 19 over its regional competitors is its networked capabilities. While systems like the South Korean K-9 Thunder 
and China's PLZ-05 are also formidable artillery platforms. They rely on a more traditional approach to targeting and fire control. The Type 19, with its highly integrated digital systems, not only allows for faster and more precise targeting, but also facilitates greater coordination with other military assets, including air defense systems, infantry, and armored units. This network-centric approach ensures that the Type 19 can quickly adapt to changing battlefield conditions and operate as part of a larger synchronized combat force. Comparing the Type 19 to its regional competitors further underscores the strategic advantages it offers. The K-9 Thunder, while highly regarded for its firepower and survivability, is a tracked vehicle that sacrifices some mobility for enhanced protection and the ability to carry an automatic loader. This makes the K-9 Thunder better suited for high-intensity, sustained artillery duels where protection and rate of fire are prioritized over mobility. The K-9's automatic loader system also contributes to a higher sustained rate of fire, which is beneficial in situations where multiple rounds need to be fired quickly. However, the track chassis of the K-9 is less maneuverable and its heavier weight limits its ability to quickly reposition. The PLZ-05, China's primary self-propelled artillery system, is another competitor that emphasizes mobility and firepower. But it incorporates a fully automatic loading system and a slightly longer firing range, providing a faster reload time and potentially higher rate of fire. However, like the K-9, the PLZ-05 sacrifices some mobility for these advantages, and its digital systems are not as highly integrated as those in the Type 19. While the PLZ-05 is certainly a capable platform, the Type 19's combination of mobility, firepower, and advanced networking capabilities gives it a unique edge, particularly in a defense-oriented strategy focused on rapid deployment and quick engagement. In the context of Japan's overall defense doctrine, the Type 19 is more than just a replacement for the FH-70 towed howitzer. It represents a shift toward a more flexible, high-tech, and responsive military force. The Type 19's ability to rapidly redeploy, engage targets with precision, and integrate into a networked battlefield makes it an essential tool in Japan's defense strategy, particularly as the nation faces growing security challenges in the Asia-Pacific region. The Type 19's mobile, networked, and firepower-centric design reflects the JGSDF's commitment to adapting to the evolving nature of modern warfare, where the ability to respond quickly and effectively to threats is paramount. In conclusion, the Type 19 155mm wheeled self-propelled howitzer stands as a testament to Japan's focus on modernizing its military and adapting to the demands of contemporary warfare. Its emphasis on mobility, firepower, and network integration positions it as a formidable asset in the JGSDF's artillery arsenal. While the Type 19 faces competition from other regional systems, its unique combination of capabilities and its alignment with Japan's strategic priorities give it a distinct advantage in the evolving security landscape of the Asia-Pacific region. As Japan continues to strengthen its defense capabilities, the Type 19 will undoubtedly play a pivotal role in maintaining the country's deterrence posture and enhancing its ability to respond to potential threats swiftly and decisively.